Hi, I'm Rick Zanotti with Relate for Captivate Quick Tips. In this quick tip, we're going to show you how to change the Captivate Play Bar and add and remove buttons and some advice. To do that, we go into the Skin Editor and you notice the Captivate defaults automatically to a stretched play bar. Now let's say we don't like the default play bar that it gives us. Let's go with something a little more high contrast. We'll go with Cool Blue. Automatically changes down there. You have several options. You can place your toolbar at the side, at the top, at the other side, or the bottom. I like it on the bottom because the eye tracks better that way. You can stretch your interface. You can also make it to the left, to the right, to the middle. I think stretched looks the nicest, so we'll leave it back at stretched. And you can add or remove any of these buttons. Let's say you want closed captioning if you have 508 compliance. There you go, that adds a closed caption piece. Huh? Let me go back to stretched over here. Okay, we're back stretched. Now, any again, any of these buttons can be turned off. You can turn any of these on, and you'll see as I do that, they go off, or I click them on, they come back on again. Now, if you are doing a scenario-based branching piece, you want to have some of these buttons off. Rewind, you don't need. Forward, you want to get rid of. Back, you want to get rid of. You can leave uh, close and exit. You can leave mute, that just stops any sound from playing. And I would get rid of the progress bar. One reason I get rid of the progress bar is, if you're in a branching scenario, as you jump from place to place, the user won't know where they are. They're going to say that, oh, I'm almost finished. No, wait, I'm back at the beginning. The progress bar will change based on their location. That really throws uh, the students off. Now, the reason you get rid of your forward and your back buttons is they strictly go next slide or previous slide. If you're in a branching scenario, you may be jumping to a different place. That will completely mess up your course. So definitely remember to turn these off if you're using a play bar. We get a lot of calls asking, what happened? And that's usually what happens. People leave those on, navigation goes out the door. Uh, you have another option. You can totally change the colors that you see in the play bar. You notice when I did that, the colors changed. So you can customize colors to your particular interface or maybe your company's branding or colors. Turn that off. One other option you have here is to go to the borders. You can add a border to your piece again, depending where you want to put it, square edge, move it around. Um, in this case, we don't want a border. So there you go. There are, these are all the options that you have for the Captivate Play Bar. And again, you may even want to turn the Play Bar off completely, uh, which you can do just by clicking here. And the Play Bar is now gone. Well, that's it. That's how simple it is to use the Captivate Play Bar and modify it. For Captivate Quick Tips, I'm Rick Zanotti with Relate.